Paul, thanks for joining us on Yelts TV. It's finished one nil after 90 minutes, but how is Owen 3-2 after uh, ag aggregate on aggregate? How much does it mean to start the season off with a win like this? Uh, well, for, first, I'm a little bit disappointed, Dan, because we've lost the game of football today. Um, we don't take uh, losing lightly, and at the end, full stop, we, you know, they beat us 1-0, which we didn't really want. Um, but it was a bit, a bit of an itty-bitty game, it never really got going, it was devoid of, a, of much quality, really. It was hustle and bustle, 100 miles an hour, um, two good sides going at it, uh, and it felt like a derby, and no-one wanted to make that mistake. Uh, Platt has pulled off two great saves for us for the penalty, and another one from Mills, I think, in the first half, and has, has kept us in it at that, at that point. But, Flip side of that in the first half, we had three other chances ourselves. So I think, you know, we're disappointed we've lost the game, but really pleased, you know, we, we've won this trophy for the first time. It's the first time the trophy's been, been presented um, against our local rivals, who will be uh, there and thereabouts in the division above going to try and win it and one of the favourites for that. So to beat them over two legs, it's, um, it's, it's a great pointer for us and we're really pleased. Like you mentioned, it was a tough, uh, well fought game, and we saw your former Yelts man on the score sheet. I guess you're not surprised to see Montel get a goal today. No, listen, he's a great kid, you know, he knows and everyone else knows, I love him to bits. So, yeah, I'm hoping he wasn't going to score against us, but he did. Uh, but luckily, we did enough to, to, to win the time. And like I said, Platty's pulled off some great saves, but on the flip for, uh, flip foot, um, we've seen some great saves in the second half by their keeper as well. Yeah, completely agree. And, and you know, would a draw be a fair result on, on, on par? Probably. But, I've got no problems with them, Shane. It could have gone either way. It's gone for them today. But luckily, a, a brilliant performance on Tuesday has been enough, ultimately, to win, win the trophy. And from last season to this season, we've seen some new introduction, new faces. Uh, just a little bit about those. Yeah, it's a little bit hard because there's six or seven of them. But we've got some very, very good players that have come in. The Platties, the Callum Flanagan's, Kyle Finns, uh, Jack Redheads. Um, I think we're stronger than we were this time last year. And that's all you can do, ultimately. Be stronger than the year previously. Uh, we've got a real good blend now. Obviously, pre-season results have been, have been very, very good and so have performances. So um, we're in good condition. Um, probably only Robbie Bunn's away for next week. Apart from that, everyone should be available. So uh, we go down to Cambridge uh, in good spirits now on the back of this. And, and hopefully, we go and put a good performance. Like I mentioned, it's Cambridge next week away, uh, first game of the season. What are we looking at and how, just, um, how important is it to get off to a good start? We're so, we're so excited first, Dan. What a horrible two years we've had with the pandemic and how it's been broken up and what's happened. So it's very, very important for me, uh, this group of players uh, uh, and this management itself, to start creating new memories for our fans. And that's what we aim to do. You know, we're geared up, we're ready. Um, and we can't wait to get going. And, and we've got a, a job in hand, and the job in hand is to get promoted. And it's a big job, but it's one we're ready to take on. Paul, wonderful. Thank you for joining us. Good man, thanks.